Yo people, what is up? Coming back to you with another vlog and just this out this vlog is that it's snowing outside. Check this out. Don't know if you can see the snow, but it is actually snowing. I can't get over that. I feel see it against the car. Yeah. So gym update I'm gonna do is outside because I'm crazy. Oh, it's getting in my eye. But uh yeah, update. Thank you for all the support on the last video. You guys seem to really like it, so this is going to be taking shoot another day in the life. It's actually snowing quite heavily now. So it is Sunday the 11th, 12th of February, something like that. No, it's 11th, something like that. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but it's a Sunday. Um, I'm at the gym, I'm doing some work. I had to go out for my mom's birthday last night. Didn't see I make it late, got home around half one. Um, had to go out and celebrate with the mammy, you know, it's got to be done and had some work to do so I'm in here today at the gym. I'm also going to be training with a client and a friend later on as well. Um, and yeah, going to be taking you shoe, like I said, a quick day in the life. I'm also going to show you what I'm eating, what I plan to eat. I'm going to go inside, it's way too cold, but this is the outside of the gym. I'm still waiting for my sign. I want to give you an update on that. The sign is on the way. Um, we're just kind of like trying to finalize um, domain names for websites and stuff like that, phone numbers and all that fun stuff um, so that is coming this week hopefully and also updating the gym everything pretty much changed around now got the guys in lucky enough I had some clients and friends over um, and they gave me hand putting on the floors we also moved around pretty much everything let me give you a quick tour give you a look at the floor first so you can see the floor is like this really nice spongy rubber matting this is all glued down and the ash surf as well we didn't actually glue this down because we didn't need to um, it's staying quite perfectly where it is it's just like found its groove now and it can't really move and I'm like total OCD about gaps they didn't cut a straight line the ash surf which really annoyed me so I literally went around like filling in all the gaps still bits that don't like that still left over did a little bit of the dressing room um, still bits to be filled in there as well and we got plans to put a cool door here paint that and stuff but I'm not overly massively worried about that just yet Everything's pretty much the same in terms of like, you know, my office and stuff is still here. We just need to pull this off the wall and to get a tin of white paint and paint that. Um, but the blue painting is pretty much done all the way around. I'm also doing a video on legs push pull versus singular splits over on my Facebook page. So go check that out. Um, it's on my hub actually. So it's a members only. It's like 900 members up in there. So do go join that if you're interested in seeing like pretty much all my exclusive videos that I do. Like I do lives. Um, there's plenty of content going up in there. Like that's all my exclusive content, but it's completely for free. Schedule on the wall, which needs to be updated for this week. And yeah, you can see, so we moved the squat rack and smith machine here. And we got the dumbbells here now. So the leg press and lat pull down and squat rack used to be here, but we just decided to put this here now because it's a nice plain wall and you can fit a solid like three, possibly even four benches along here. So if I ever do need to do that, um, I now have the space to do it. And we moved the cable machine down into the corner because it's actually like the perfect shape for the corner here. And I couldn't take these off the wall. So we just decided to leave those there and use them as like, you know, holding and storage and whatnot. So that fits really nicely in there. We put the lat pull down here and then we got the leg press beside that and the door like leaves enough space for it to open. I just need to finish off, like I said, these little parts in here, but that'll be done today. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. We may need to take off the door and like shave a little bit off the bottom because it doesn't fit over the rubber matting. There, I'll just get like a mat and put it there, but we'll see what I'll do with that. I'm not too sure yet. Still got one box of the rubber mats left over. You see the kitchen area, you know, all that stuff and the painting, like I said, is done all the way around. So yeah, really, really happy with it and how it's looking. I'll give you a full view. So that is a full view. The gym is a thousand square foot, by the way, for anyone who's wondering like how big or how small it is. This is me standing right in the corner of the door. And that's it. So it is plenty of space, um, fit plenty of people in here. And honestly, it's going super well. I'm really, really happy with how it is going. Um, it couldn't be going any better, to be honest. I'm like super happy. Like I'm a month, um, a month and what, two weeks in. Uh, and you know, I'm nearly full of personal training, pretty much am full, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm up on 30 something hours. Um, but you all know that everything that I do is personalized and everybody steps through that door gets you're the top service and that's what I pride myself on is giving you the best possible service when you step through that door no matter what you want to do we will achieve it and we will work towards it and that's the service that I offer that's the service I pride myself on offering I can sit down here because my legs are tired um, and yeah that's just a quick gym update and like I said training with a mate later on so record that for you guys uh, maybe a physique update again last week you'll see what I look like um, so hopefully you'll see slight changes every week being honest, I haven't made a full decision yet what I'm gonna do. Um, I think for the 
minute until I see how my physique starts to shape up. Let's get a haircut. Nice. Client is, he's good, he's good. Kevin, thank you. <laughs> um, until I see my body, how it shapes up and stuff, I'm just gonna play it by you. I'm just gonna you know, eat a relative amount of food. I'm probably gonna stick with maintenance calories for the time being. Gonna train four or five days a week, any day that I can. And any day that training will benefit my day. It's the best way to put it. Like if I have a day where I have you know, eight, 10 hours of personal training, Yo, I'm being unrealistic if I say I'm gonna get two hours of training in there because I literally have to spend like, yo, a solid 12 hours just straight, no breaks whatsoever. Um, so like if I'm at seven and my clients are till like nine and 10 usually, I've maybe like a couple of hours break here or there, if even, sometimes I might just work out that I only have half an hour like here and then half an hour later on. So I'm being unrealistic if I say I'm gonna train on days like those because I'm just not. Um, and I don't really wanna be in here at 5 a.m. training it's for me at the minute it's just not it's just not viable that's not what i want to do i'm not going to force myself to do something that i really really don't want to do at this moment in time my number one priority right now is getting back to enjoying training like i said in the last video and enjoying eating all my food and getting my business to a level that i am happy with it they're my main priorities right now um but yeah that's it for now guys i'll catch you in a little bit i got a client coming to do measurements and stuff i'm probably going to be training around one or two so it's uh quarter twelve now training around one two o'clock can record this Facebook live for my group, um, emails, program design today, and then I'll probably finish up around six, seven o'clock this evening. Something like that. Enjoy the vlog, guys. Hit subscribe if you're enjoying videos every week. Thanks for all the support. What's up, guys? Just about to start training. The man is down the corner there warming up. We're doing a bit of a strange split today. Um, it's kind of, I suppose, like a weak body part training area. Um, I think my back is quite weak, uh, especially upper to mid traps. And Emmanuel wanted to train the kind of upper mid traps with me as well. Um, it's an area a lot of people are lagging details. So we're going to hit that first, and then we're going to head into a shoulder workout, uh, predominantly focusing on rear, probably lateral head. A uh, bit of a strange workout, but do enjoy it. Give it a go. Comment below, see what you think. Enjoy. Yo yeah, everybody, what's up? So it is now Monday the 12th. My battery died yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to vlog the rest of the day and my camera charged at home. But nevertheless, you can see uh, what a standard Monday is like for me. I had to, um, I had morning clients, but they couldn't make it because of the snow. The roads were just too bad, so we didn't want to risk it. Um, so we just called off the morning sessions and now I have sessions the rest of the evening from four o'clock to eight o'clock. Um, so it's not too bad. It is currently 20 to 3 and I'm just having lunch at the minute. Breakfast this morning um, consisted of a smoothie, so I had two scoops of whey, some berries, Greek yogurt, and some almond milk. Blended it all up, had that for breakfast. 
and that's pretty much all that's happened so far today like i did loads of online work which you don't want to see because that's kind of boring it's issues me sitting in front of a laptop for like five hours playing to clients and stuff like that uh, a bit of programming and stuff like i said now i'm having lunch as you can see it's some nice burgers um so what i got here is two beef burgers which are less than five percent fat and they're from a really really good butchers two slices of pancetta on there which is like this stuff it's like I can't describe how good it is. It's basically like bacon, but it's like seasoned. Oh, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. Just honestly, you head over and try them out. Um, and just two burger buns, a little bit of ketchup. I forgot my lettuce, so no greens with this meal, which is disappointing, but we'll get those in later on. Anyway, um, today I'm gonna give you a look at what I'm gonna be eating, my main sense calories. So yeah, like I said, I've decided to just kinda keep training as is and start enjoying it and continue to enjoy it. I've already started to enjoy back training again. Got in four or five days um, last week. Super happy with that, pretty happy with how I'm looking. And uh, things are going good. So, what's the plan? Eat this, more online work, Facebook Live over on my hub. If you're not a member, be a member. Nearly 2,000 people up in there. Doing week weekly, if not daily videos. There's actually been daily videos, if not twice a day as well. Up on my hub there. Yes, I covered like squash pull versus singular splits. Today I'm going to be covering body assessment and why you should assess your physique um, quite regularly so you can choose like where's your weak points because essentially that workout yesterday was working on not only my weak parts but Nemanja's as well. So we hit like, you know, the back session, upper backs and trap predominantly and um, that was a weak point for me, weak point for him so we decided to hit a weak body part session um, and yeah that's pretty much it guys I will get back to a little bit of this training today also arms and shoulders but I'm gonna save that for the next video so make sure you check out the next video as well if you want to see my arms and shoulders routine. Okay guys so here's what my meal plan is looking at um, total calories is 2,716 and the total macro breakdown is 250 grams of carbs, 228 grams of protein and 90 grams of fat. I'm using those macros because that's what's worked for me before and I figured out that that is basically what maintenance is around about for me. So breakfast is a blended breakfast smoothie. Most of these meals, bear in mind, are for um, just efficiency purposes. So they're all quick, easy, efficient meals I can cook. They should my full meal plan in about 20 minutes at a push, maybe 25 to 30, but everything is so quick, so easy, it's efficient, it's all about time efficiency for me and just getting the food in. Um, so blended smoothie starting it off, again I'll usually make this the night before, put it in the fridge, wake up in the morning, grab it and drink it on the way out the door, no matter what time that is, be that 5am or 10 or 11 or 12, it just makes life a lot easier for me not having to cook breakfast straight away in the morning. On rest days, this will slightly change, or on days that I don't have to be in work super early. I'm not carb cycling, anything like that in a minute. I'm just eating the same calories every single day, and then I'll judge and see how my body reacts to that, and then change and make the appropriate changes from there. So as you can see, getting in 60 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, and 11 grams of carbohydrates first thing in the morning. Carbs are coming from strawberries, and a tiny little bit of a crossover from the almond milk and almond butter. Uh, main source of fat here is coming from almond butter and obviously the main source of protein is coming from my gold standard whey. Meal two then is rice cakes and an optimal nutrition protein flapjack. Again, efficiency, quickness, I can literally just grab these on the go if I have 10 minutes or even if I'm training a client, they don't mind me usually eating some rice cakes or a flapjack. Here we're getting in 58 grams of carbs, 22 grams of protein, 8.2 grams of fat. Meal three, burgers and pancetta. You see the meal I had today, which is just two large beef burgers, fat, relatively low on those. Obviously it's higher than chicken, but I try to get really good quality beef burgers so the fat content isn't too high. So in those two burgers, which are a good decent size, there's only 26 grams of fat and 50 grams of protein, which is pretty good. Two standard burger buns, they're not the Slimsters, nothing like that. Just standard burger buns, 40 grams of carbs, 4.5 fat, 8.2 protein and then just a few little slices of pancetta which I'm only getting like 140 calories from there so 30 grams of pancetta which is 12.9 fat and 5.9 protein and 0.2 carbs then onto meal floor which is my chicken wrap again something I can just you know throw the chicken on the George Foreman throw the wrap in the microwave and again five minute maybe ten minute job um, 106 grams of chicken which is just a full chicken breast and a tortilla wrap of course with all of these meals I am adding green veg or as much veg as possible these are just the basic ingredients and then I season and cook them from there um, it may seem very boring but I actually add plenty of seasonings or stir fry mixes and stuff like that to all of my meals and plenty of green veg as well next meal then is oats whey and it's 
little spoon of jam. This is usually my post-workout meal, the chicken wrap um, and the beef burgers is usually what I eat. I try getting like two or three meals before I train and then I'll have my post-workout meal which is my oats whey and jam. 100 grams of oats, one scoop of whey and a, you know, like a teaspoon or a tablespoon or two of jam. So there I'm getting in 84 grams of carbs, 35 grams of protein and only 10 grams of fat. So perfect post-workout meal, replenishing the glycogen storage and getting in the essential amino acids for recovery and repair of my muscles. And then just a nice little snack in the evening because I like having popcorn. Popcorn is like a thing for me, it's just I love popcorn. So I have the proper corn, which is low calories. It's only like 80 to 90 calories per bag. Um, and in that you're getting in 24 grams of carbs, 3.7 protein and 5.8 fat. And that is my full breakdown. Like I said, how do I calculate these? It's trial and error down through the years. Um, usually what I recommend for people is 2.2 pounds um, equals one kilo of protein. So for example, if I am, uh, let's say 150 pounds, you know, 2.2, that is uh, 300. So that's what you're kind of looking at um, in terms of protein intake. Okay guys, so that is it for this vlog. Just wanted to give you a quick look at you what I'm doing, what I'm eating, um, the back session there of course, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do like the videos, like I said, they're coming up every single week now, um, day in the lifestyle videos and whatever I get up to along the way, like I might have some things planned once the weekends kind of calm down for me in here, I might be able to get away and do some nice stuff. Um, but if you do like the videos, please leave it a thumbs up. Thank you for all the support. Peace out. Love you all.